Sex. <laughs> now that I have your attention, um, welcome back to this episode of Let's Play. I am Edwin, and today, uh, in regards to the UFC 200, 200, 200 card, well, this fight should have been happening in 200. Uh, I'm going to simulate the uh, upcoming Nate Diaz Conor McGregor fight, which is uh, this Saturday. Should be epic. First, I was epic, so uh, I'm going to see who am I picking. I'll pick Nate Diaz, yeah, actually, uh, bam. Gregor's still champion, so I guess he can wear the champion trunks, um, five rounds, uh, yeah, right, T-Mobile Arena isn't in this game yet, so whatever, I guess I'll advance to the fight, and as we wait for the loading times to finish, let's talk about this fight, Nate Diaz, the guy who, the chosen one, the one who should not, who shall not be named, uh, beat McGregor uh, last February. Actually, no, it was uh, early March. Um, submitted him. Well, first I got him tired, then submitted him. But uh, yes, this is an intriguing fight. I actually, I'm having trouble calling this one just because, um, like, my mind is telling me that Conor McGregor is going to pull this one out. Uh, it's going to pull this one off. But my gut, for some reason, tells me Nate Diaz is winning. And uh, like whenever I'm gonna bet money, I always bet with my gut. I don't know. I never uh, brain. Yeah, you know, common sense says you know McGregor. You know, he dominated the first round. Uh, the only problem, the only issue was that he expended so much energy in the first round. So like, but by the time the second round came in, he was so fatigued, so tired that he just fell off. But um, I think McGregor is the best in the world at 145. He's a uh, he. he Probably going to be a super fighter at 155, but uh, 170 is a pretty different deal. It's like, it's I guess it's very similar to like having uh, an, an eighth grader punch like a, f a, a freshman in college. Uh, the power probably won't be there, and like just a bigger guy is going to be able to take the, the punishment. And Nate Diaz is as durable as you know as they come. Uh, as far as cardio, Nate Diaz has the upper edge. So not only does Nate Diaz is like Nate Diaz bigger, but he's also he, he's also durable. So he's gonna be, gonna be able to take the shots that Conor McGregor has the to, uh, has to offer. Um, as far as the ground, uh, yeah, of course, as, as you saw the first part, Nate Diaz. Uh, if like Conor McGregor goes to the ground with Nate Diaz, he's pretty much gonna get submitted. I mean. Nate Diaz has been uh, practicing jiu-jitsu for the past 15, 16 years, while Conor McGregor uh, really has it. I think he's a brown belt. I think, yeah, I think Conor McGregor is a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, so uh, brown belt as opposed to a black belt. Um, there's no contest there. Uh, let's actually see the stats. Yeah, he's two inches bigger, has a two-inch reach advantage over Conor McGregor. See, if this was a three-round fight, I would give the edge, I would totally put my money on Conor McGregor, but, I mean, Conor McGregor hasn't been, he hasn't fought five, five rounds, he, he, no, he hasn't, actually, yeah, I think, like, the, like, the most, like, the longest, like, the longest he's, he's fought is three rounds, and that was with, uh, Max Holloway, uh, back in Boston, which, actually, I had the opportunity to go watch that fight, but, luckily, I, uh, I bought a, a ticket to a cruise ship, and uh, I was gonna, I was on the cruise while that that fight was happening, so I, I kind of missed that fight. Uh, yeah, it was a bummer, but yeah, what, what you gonna do? So I had to go to the Bahamas, have fun and shit. Um, but uh, enough of the introductions. Uh, let's get to what you guys been waiting for: a simulation of this upcoming. What the fuck is this shit? It is all the timing. Oh. I guess that, uh, yeah, because uh, I basically just updated this game, so. Oh, that's weird. That's, that's new. That meter up there. I have yet. Hmm. I have no idea what. Okay. Let's ignore that. Bam. Mm. Huh. McGregor is. Come on, McGregor. Come on, man. He's, he's, he's taking a sound, that's for sure. He's being. Not as uh, pressing as he was at uh, 45 or in the first fight with Nate Diaz. Honestly, uh, he's probably not going to be as as uh, pressing in the second fight. If that's the if that's the word I want to use. There you go. Hit, almost had my 
McGregor almost had a mouthful of toes. Nick Diaz. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's not weird. All right. Let's see. Come on, McGregor. You're making you make this a boring, boring fight, Nick, uh, McGregor. Oh, shit. Oh, McGregor. Just break it. There you go. Oof. But yeah, actually, uh, let's see what I want. Well, actually, the, there's actually there's like a lot of good fights on that card. There, I mean, there was also Carlos Condit was supposed to fight on uh, Saturday, but um, they moved his fight to like the, the following Fox card, which uh, I mean, they, you know, they, we don't need him. I mean, McGregor and Nadia sells by themselves. Like, he's facing Damian Maya, which. I don't know, I'm worried. I'm like the big after uh, John Jones. He's like my favorite fighter, and I go, oh my god, to take on a grappler of like uh, Demon uh, Demon Maya's caliber is uh, it's no easy feat, man. Hopefully, uh, Carlos Condit could like you know pull it off. But uh, actually, the coming event of this uh, of Saturday's card is um. Glover Teixeira versus Anthony Johnson. That's going to be a crazy fight. I, 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 I'm actually just as, as excited for that fight as I am for this main event. Just because I, I really don't see that fight going to a decision. I, I see a brutal... Okay, there, dude, I am connecting with Conor McGregor. Ooh, there you go. Come on, son. See, I don't know how to do the, the start and slap, man. I, I, I need to... There you go. Ooh, so we got Clip. What's going on? Ooh, I am just connecting on McGregor's chin. It's funny because people think uh, people see me like you know I, I pick it, like um, Nate Diaz. They might assume that I'm not a McGregor fan, but actually no, I actually like both these guys, man. Both these guys they bring something different to the table. Uh, Nate Diaz. Uh, you can't get as authentic as Nate Diaz, uh, you know, there's nothing like... He talks the way he talks, he fights the way he fights, and uh, he doesn't apologize for it. Uh, McGregor is very tactical as a, as a knight, and not only a fighter, but as a, also as a, as, as, a, as a human being as well. Uh, he knows what to say and what not to say. Uh, and uh, he won't shy away from being, you know, controversial. Like, the, the biggest thing c coming into this fight is uh, how he um, crapped all over the WWE wrestlers and stuff. And wrestling fans are very passionate. <laughs> uh, they're probably more passionate than uh, MMA fans. I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for all you've done to your bodies. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> I'll be for that matter, and yeah, you, you, you call these people pussies or um, basically call it fake. They're gonna they're gonna rip your new one on Twitter, which is probably why I don't have a Twitter account. Uh, fucking, I don't like disapproval or people disagreeing with me. There, oh, damn it! Nice dodge by McGregor there. There you go. Come on, Nate Diaz. Come on, Nate. Oh, damn. Oof, fuck. There you go. Oof. Shit, I'm, I'm looking at like the guitar game. Nate Diaz's body. Okay, it's recovered now. Yeah, the CPU has gotten a lot smarter as of late. Yeah. It's, uh. There you go. Oh, shit! McGregor! And, I, and, I'm, and I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna tell you folks. This fight is not going to end by the submission. I, I hate the submission game in this game, so I'm not even going to attempt to even figure that shit out. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, come on, son. I'm, I'm trash-talking. Damn. Damn. Peppering. Oof. See, I can't get too confident because all of a sudden I'm... Because what... If you, if you look at my past videos, whenever I get too confident, that's when I get rocked or, like, you know, get knocked down. It's like the PS4 can hear me and hey, let's shut this dude up. There we go, ooh, head kick. Come on, damn it! 
CNTs are scared. I mean, no, not they. Uh, Conor McGregor is scared now. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to exchange with him because he's getting. He's getting clocked. He's getting. He's getting clocked. Oh shit. Oh shit. See, it's, it's funny because McGregor doesn't even have the same power any, anymore. Uh, and I'm not talking about M M McGregor the person. I'm talking about McGregor the video game character. Like, his shots aren't even hurting anymore just because he's, like, his stamina. So, oh, shit! Oh, oh shit. Nice up for Quebec Knight. Oh, it's over! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! It's over! It's over! Knight Diaz! And the winner... Via... I guess, yeah, TKO. I guess you can call it TKO. Nate motherfucking Diaz. Honestly, this is a fight where, where regardless of, of who wins and who loses, I probably won't be disappointed. I'm a big fan of both of these guys. If Nate wins, good for him. If McGregor wins, good for him. Um, I'm guessing the UFC is hoping, is uh, praying to the to God, to Scientology God, to, 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 Thor, to Thor, to Muhammad. Come on, <laughs> whoever's listening, please let McGregor win. Because, um, I mean, as far as money, I mean, yeah, McGregor's the guy you probably want to win, but, you know, Nate Diaz, man, he's a guy who's been busting his ass for the past couple of years, been underpaid. It's good, to see, it's good to see this guy finally, you know, get what he's worth. Um, yeah, and, yep, that's what my guy is predicting. I, my guy is predicting to see Nate Diaz get his hand raised, but, I don't know, man, I mean, it's not out of their own possibility that McGregor could fight smarter, uh, conserve more energy, and actually do what, um, do what, uh, what the fuck is his name? Thompson? Dude, uh, the 155er who knocked, who TKO Nate Diaz a couple years back. You know, that's probably the best game plan Conor could come up with, but, um, yeah, I guess it does it for this episode of, uh, Let's Play. Um, uh, if you like the video, like it, uh, subscribe for more content. And um, I will see you guys next time for more UFC action or uh, video game action, whichever action. Not sexual action, but video game action. Yes.